Sub <laughs> I'm freaking cold. Blue lips in this cold studio. Okay, do I look cold? No. Okay. What's up guys, Paul here with Process Minted and today I'm gonna to be talking about how you can make premium packaging on a tight budget. We get this question at Process all the time. A brand will come to us and they're like, okay, how do we know if we should go like ultra premium with our packaging or a simple corrugated cardboard box? Because clearly there's brands who do both, like huge brands that have a lot of distribution, they go with really simple and inexpensive packaging. Um, the answer isn't quite that simple. Sometimes it's honestly a combination of both. I'm gonna share with you guys today how Era Home Diffusers how they, I mean, they built a really premium box, but the other day I was looking on Amazon and I saw their packaging and they went to a completely like low grade corrugated presentation in their packaging. So they went from this, which is, this is like a $4 box to a box that cost them 75 cents to $1.25. So clearly they're doing it for budgetary purposes. There is a time and a place for everything. Um, when you're starting a company or you're trying to establish like market presence, dominance, uh, authority in a particular field or industry, when you build premium packaging, it takes your brand up several notches. I've talked about this in a lot of our previous episodes. Uh, did I say episodes or episodes? <laughs> previous episodes. But what I wanna share with you guys today is Aaron didn't have to go that far down. Like they didn't have to go to the dollar corrugated box. They could have really met in the middle. I'm gonna share with you some things that they could really change with this packaging that would really save them, but still keep it elevated and premium. So first things first, they, they got a lot of really, like some nice foil work all across uh, both the sleeve and the box. Uh, this is a well-constructed sleeve, Let me just, as we just pop this off. Uh, it, it's, it's nice and rigid, it's double walled. But as I look at the box right here, this is a nice and thick box. We have a ribbon pull. As I open this up, uh, you know, we've got our two slots right here for the accessories and the fragrance pods. Right here is where their actual device is gonna sit. If we, if we zoom in on that, see how that's curved? See how like, this is a CNC router work. So this is a CNC machine that actually had to go out and make this custom curvature. This is like, a, that CNC work is literally like a third the price of this entire package. So sometimes we see things in, in premium packaging and it looks great, but it really doesn't add any value to the, the unboxing experience. They could have went with the die cut here. Yes, this is a, a bit higher level and it just fits perfectly. But even inside this, I'm gonna pull one of these boxes out. Inside these boxes, they have, if you look down inside there, probably hard to see, but there's, a, there's an EVA foam inside that box. Like that's unnecessary. That's another expense that they could have just saved on. So when I look at this box and I look at this, a brand like Era that now, I mean, they're saving, you know, they're probably doing hundreds of thousands, if not millions of units of this stuff. They're saving a lot of money by taking their packaging lower, but their brand equity also dips with that. Their, the giftability of this concept dips with that. And so they still could have maintained this high-end premium box. A box that cost them probably $4 to manufacture with the sleeve and everything, uh, we could probably build this for $2.50 because we could we would reconstruct the, the sleeve. We'd still make it premium, still do some of this printing technique, but we would change the inner foam and change the structure. We'd actually shrink the, the box size down a little bit and compact these things down. Still give that elevated premium experience, but at more of a budget. So when you're working with a packaging company or you're doing your own packaging, you know, there's certain things you need to maintain in your design and there's there's steps or shortcuts or little things you can do like this foam concept that will still give you what the end goal and that's a premium unboxing and giftable experience. If you're wanting to level up your packaging, definitely hit us up at processag.com. My name is Paul. This is the Masterminds of Packaging and we'll see you guys on the next one. I'm seriously cold. Um, <laughs> I was I gonna open this thing again? <laughs>